Pisces. I'm always so happy to get to Pisces. It's like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow or something. I'm B, by the way. Hi, Pisces. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time seeing me. I'm pretty new. Um, but I'm going to be doing a reading for you, Pisces, for the week of August 8th through 15th. Hope you got in on some good Lionsgate energy manifestations before the portal closed. And you can manifest anytime. There are just certain days that, you know, when the planets are moving that make it easier for you. And so Lionsgate is one of those times. All right, let's get into it and see. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides. What does Pisces need to know right now? All significant Pisces placements. And hi, cross watchers. If you're watching, just apply the story as it fits in your life. Okay, and if it doesn't fit, then don't make it fit. Just don't even worry about it. Okay. What is going on for Pisces? We got the four of wands. Okay. Some kind of foundation for you, possibly the home. I have a feeling I'm going to need to do Kipper for you guys. I did for Aries as well. And I feel like I started with Aries and Kipper. I might have to end with Pisces and Kipper. Ace of Wands. Some of you might be just buying a house or you just moved into a new home. Congratulations if you did. That's fun. Maybe a little stressful, but more fun. The sun is there. Excellent. So what else we got for Pisces? The sun, four of swords, queen of wands. Yeah, so maybe if, for some of you, if you did just make a move, you are just kind of chilling now, getting some relaxation in, taking a moment to just breathe. So it might have been a lot of work, um, but congratulations to you if you did just move. And we have an, uh, the devil here at the bottom. Okay, so with the devil being the overall energy, perhaps you moved or just signed the mortgage or something like that. You just made the commitment for some of you. Now let's see what else is here. <laughs> just see, it's like you're happy you got a new home. Maybe it's something that, that you couldn't do. Or some of you are off to start a new foundation with possibly a queen of wands. Or I feel like this is you sitting in the queen of wands energy, sitting in your power. Or you could also be maybe maybe meeting somebody, meeting, meeting a new friend, but I said mating. So some of you could have just met a queen of wands or a king of wands. Um, I'm hearing in my head Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, even though it's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this could be somebody who has both fire and water heavy in their charts. Hmm. Looks happy though. It looks good. Whatever this is, it looks like you guys are in a good place. So that's amazing. We're going to clarify now. Okay. Can we understand a little bit more about this situation? Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides. What is this going on in Pisces life right now? For the week of August 8th through 15th. Death. Ooh, death to what? Before we had the sun, death fell right under the four of wands. Wow. Okay, some of you might be taking a break from a relationship as well, I'm seeing here now. We got the death with the two of cups and the three of wands. It doesn't feel permanent though, even though the death is here. No, but the world is there too. So for some of you, you might be saying it's a break, but in actuality, you're like done with somebody. Mm. And for others of you, you're feeling good because it's like some kind of long-standing commitment that you were in that maybe you thought you couldn't get out of. Now you can take a break from it. This could be vacation for some of you as well. Vacation does sound nice. Six of Cups is there. And we have 
five of swords, four of swords again, and the lovers. Okay, so unfortunately for some of you, there's another situation that I'm picking up on, which is that some of it, somebody might have find out, found out all through the readings I've been doing, I've been tongue-tied, um, but somebody might have found out that their partner was cheating. They may have caught them in their house. Yeah, they may have caught somebody in bed at their house. Possibly um, this could involve a Capricorn and a Gemini. Seven of Wands there. You felt you had to defend yourself or defend your territory. Or it was just like somebody was about to get into it when that happened. So the wheel's turning, of course, right? Change, change rolling in after that experience with the choice. Yeah, 10 of cups at the bottom of the deck, something that affects your family or your, your home life. We got the queen of swords and the page of pentacles. So yeah, maybe you sent a message to somebody telling them about this or somebody's getting served with papers, divorce papers. That's really good, Pisces. Yeah, I think I will need the kipper for this. Let's clarify a little bit. But overall, what it seems like to me is something came to light about maybe a little bit of sex cheating, physical cheating that was found out in somebody's home. Or this is you getting to take a break from something. You're, you're on a break from a relationship, or it could be both. This might have led to a break, even though I think you would be completely done with somebody after that. You may be completely done and just told, but yeah, that's what I keep getting. It's like, you're completely done, but you told this person it's a break. Yeah, we have high honor here. High honor. but despair at the back. It's like you're doing the right thing or you're, you're doing what you know is right, but at the same time, it's not easy for you to walk away from this. But I feel like it's still promising for you because at the end of the day, you're still in the queen of wands, king of wands energy. The sun is still here, but it's like, damn. Then you have thief here, yeah. So somebody was trying to get away with something and that was not successful. Yeah, giving what was yours away to someone else, perhaps. Yeah, there's gift again. House again has showed up. For some of you, as a side note, this could also be like a contract situation where somebody was taken from you. And that's been found out. And there's despair again. So somebody got caught. Somebody either way got caught doing something they shouldn't have been doing. And now they're in despair about that this coming week. May male. Could be a masculine energy that's in despair. Why is the ace of wands here? Imprisonment. I don't know if that's the one that... <laughs> Why is the Ace of Wands here? I'll ask again. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Child. I don't know why I just felt, Pisces, this is really like messy. This could have to do with something that happened when you were a child or a change, like somebody finding out about an illegitimate child that was had outside of the home. No child is really illegitimate. I really hate that phrase illegitimate child that's I don't think it's proper but um there may be there may have been a child conceived outside of your home if you're in a relationship or commitment that might come out and there's also great fortune here so whatever this is I feel like somebody took money from you as well Yeah, so it's like a shocking truth. 
This is very similar to someone else's reading. Was that, um, feels like Sagittarius almost. But theirs was warnings to stay away. Like there's gonna be some news and then that news might cause a fight. Yeah, great fortune and then poverty. Journey. So I feel like there's some of you who've been on like a long path that was not actually the right path for you because of some deception. Adjudication. So whatever that is, is coming to light somehow. Yep, if there was something that happened when you were a child or if there was a child conceived outside of your relationship, I feel like you're gonna be finding that out soon. Yeah, message of concern at the bottom here. Message of concern. So somebody either already found out or they're going to find out and let's get some romance oracles and then an everyday oracle to close this up. This is outlandish, but for some of you, I feel like you may find out that one of your parents is a different person than you thought. I just got that. So if you find that out, that is gonna be jarring. There's probably gonna be a need for you to get grounded. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides, will you please show us what does Pisces need to know? Collective sign of Pisces. What do they need to know from this Black Hollywood? romance oracle about their own heart or about who they're with who they're dealing with clarity yep there's some kind of clarity coming out someone finally sees the answer that was always right in front of their eyes the vision is clear therefore what is to come shall be clear too yeah there's going to be some kind of eye-opening thing yeah this is like sagittarius and aquarius as well it's like there's a theme here but it's different it's different for each sign there's going to be some kind of clarity that comes to you about a situation. And we saw the Six of Cups earlier, so it is also from the past. It's going to have to, it, it, it may put you in contact with somebody that you didn't know you were related to, or you're going to find out that there's a child in your family that you didn't know about. Getting to know each other. Sorry, my battery is acting up. Enjoy discovering new commonalities, goals, and dreams as you get to learn more about each other. So it doesn't seem like it's gonna be like the end of the world for you. It's just gonna be the end of another situation because I see exciting news here at the bottom of the deck. Good news is coming your way, whether it be a pregnancy, an engagement, or moving in together, get excited to celebrate. So there's something good coming out of this. Is there anything else from the, yep, <laughs> soulmate. The person you're inquiring about is your soulmate. That sense of familiarity and comfort you feel is confirmation. So this is beautiful, whether it's romance or not. If there is somebody you're gonna be reunited with, who's a family member, it'll be a good reunion for you. And if you have a child, or if there is a child, you may actually, you may like this child. I feel like it, it could be a sibling that you didn't know about for some of you. For others of you, this is a child that your partner has and maybe you're going to be like, it's not the child's fault. And you'll actually end up liking this child if you decide to stay with this person or you guys might have like a co-parenting situation. But let's get some everyday oracles for you as well. Honestly, hold on, I'm gonna do the tea leaf. What does the Pisces Collective need to know from the tea leaf oracle about this situation? Whoa. Coins. Money will be coming to you. Yeah, for some of you, this was money that was taken from you. Someone you know is undependable and insecure. So this is probably the person that did it. I'm feeling air sign energy for some reason. I'm feeling air sign. Is there anything else from the tea leaf that the collective needs to know? Collective sign of Pisces. Dog, close up, pleasure with a close friend, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. 
So I feel like you are being protected throughout the situation or whoever is protecting you on your spirit team has been with you for a very long time and they're watching over you in this situation. What's at the bottom here? Ah, yep, psychic ability, trust your intuition. So this may be something that you've intuitively felt for a while, if not your whole life for, for some time, like at least a few months. And then lastly, we have woman, dealings or relationship with a woman. Yeah, for some reason, for some of you, I feel, or maybe it's very specific for one person, I feel like you're, there's an issue with your mother or a parent, maybe not who you thought they were, or there could be, don't make any accusations because this we just got clawed, do not take risks, but I feel like there's a risk somebody else took that caused all this in the past. So now let's close up with the everyday oracle. Yeah, it's interesting. I feel like, yeah, you're gonna find something out, but whatever this is, you're not gonna be mad about it. It's like, it'll be like a, a surprise you felt coming. It might be what I call this video. What does Pisces need to know from the everyday oracle? That's too many, hold on. What does Pisces need to know from the everyday oracle? Here's to good love, good sex, good friendships, and successful endeavors. Yeah, so something, like I said, something good is going to come out of this. It's time to challenge yourself and do the very thing you are afraid to do. Okay. Is there anything else from the Everyday Oracle for Pisces? Just relax, you're doing everything just fine. That is very beautiful and I'm gonna leave it there, Pisces. So don't. I feel like this is not gonna rock you. Whatever this is, it's something that actually may make you happy. Could open the doorway to you for something else. If it's a new house or a new business venture or a new romance, it looks like it's promising. It's promising. So this is great. You're not the one in despair here. I feel like somebody else is in despair because something they did is coming to light, which has been a theme. So you just keep being your emotional, conscious, kind self Pisces and I'll see you back here next week. If you like my channel, please like, share, and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.